everybody. I'm coming on to do a quick Jill's product news video. Um, this is for Adornit and for the uh, releases that Diana Markham and Adornit have just come out with, six stamp sets. If you watch the Stamp Jamboree on June 29th, I was not able to attend because I was away from here. And unfortunately where I was doesn't have cell service. Um, so I just, I thought I'd be able to watch it, but I wasn't able to. So I still haven't even watched the, the entire um you know, you can still go watch it. I just haven't had time to go do that because I just got home today. Um, so I thought I would come on really quick because I had things in the mail when I got home as well as I printed these out. These were some digitals that they sent to us in place of the physical stamps. The physical stamps were actually delayed a bit, which is why we did a pre-order during the stamp jamboree. They didn't have the stamps quite yet. So I just wanna say that these are digitals that I've printed out two to a page on my computer. So the sizes will probably be a little bit different than what would be in the actual physical stamp set. That's the hard thing about us not having the physical stamp set in front of us to show you, but you can go see them on the Stamp Jamboree video. So please go take a look at that if you wanna see the exact sizes of the stamp on a video. They do have that over on the video tab at the Adornit Facebook page, okay? So go take a look at that. Um, but I wanted to at least print these out, um, and I printed them two to a page just to save on cardstock, um, which is important to me because cardstock's so expensive now. Um, but I printed these out on the good 100-pound cardstock. So this one says Berry Sweet, and it's these sweet cupcakes with the strawberries. And I love that there's a separate one here. This would be so cute to make a little circle card with for a birthday. Um, then there's the Rhubarb Blueberry Jam stamp, and uh, this is one that was done, I believe, in the past as a woodblock stamp. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I just love this image. So sweet to have this beautiful um, uh, rhubarb, rhubarb blueberry jam recipe on here. So, and I love that they included an extra border here for us to play with. So that's the first two. Then there's these two. There's, of course, these beautiful jars, all of these beautiful jars. I love this one here with the little button in the bow and how the, 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 um, emblem is on there already for you to put uh, whatever you wanted to put in there. Then there's a jar here. Uh, I love this jar and I use this on one of the projects that I'm going to show you for Saturday Morning Makes tomorrow. And then uh, there's this one here which uh, has a different type of fabric. And then this tag here which you could use um, to tie around these or um, you could um, use it to label uh, anything you were gonna give as a gift or whatever. It's just a nice little tag. Um, so that's the second two sets. And I love this one and the, um, I love the sweet homemade with love from, which is uh, done a second time. And then you have the peach preserves, strawberry jam, and when life's a jar make jam. So um, such a sweet couple of sets. And uh, then there's this one here, which is has the emblem strawberries. And uh, it's a sweet little strawberry basket, a couple little emblems here, the, the, the heart and little dots. Then she has a flower and a strawberry and then a strawberry basket. And then this one, which is my favorite, is the strawberry jam one. And I just love this. This is absolutely adorable. And this is for freezer jam. So, um, and during the video, I know that they made the jam uh, during the, um, the jamboree. So that was a lot of fun. So the straw, they made the um, freezer jam and uh, they showed how to do that. And it's really easy. It's really easy to make freezer jam. Anyway, so those are the six stamp sets that are available. They are available in a bundle on the Adornit website. Just go to the section where it says stamps. Um, it's all the way over to the right on the website. Click on a little down arrow. It'll take you to stamps and then Diana Markham stamps. And if you go to that section of the website, you'll be able to find everything. So the, the, the thing that was in the mail when I got home today um, were these paper packs, okay? And this is the Kitchen Elements paper pack. Um, these are $12 for eight sheets, and they are double-sided. Um, so uh, this is what they sent. And uh, this one has the, the um, this is kind of from the, the, when they first started the whole thing and kicked it off. They had a recipe um, stamp and a, an apron set, different things that are still in. You can go look at their shop to see what's there. But um, this is the, the Kitchen Elements paper pack that went with that. And the back side of this one has kind of a white with blue um, gingham print, sort of. Uh, and, uh, and then the front one, of course, has all the different emblems that were in the stamp set. So um, really, really cute. 
And then uh, the next pattern is this one that has little mixers and mixing spoons. And again, these are the stamps that were in that set and you've seen me use those before. And then uh, this is a green polka. So you get two of those. Then you get two of this one, which has um, the aprons, cupcakes, uh, the pies on it, the little cookies. So you could do lots of different things with that and it's intermingled with all the different patterns. And then on the back of it is this red um, canvas looking uh, paper. So really nice. Um, so there's two of those. Then you get this adorable cupcake pattern. I love this one. This is so cute. And uh, the, on the back of this one is a stripe, a rainbow colored stripe. So that's that paper pad. So, um, you know, this one is called again, Kitchen Elements. All right, so that's that one. And then the next set is called the Cookie Surprise Paper Pack. So this one um, is just so fun. The, ch the chocolate chip cookie stamp was the first stamp that started it all off when they were beginning to roll out the products. So this one has just, you know, you could um, use this in a lot of different ways, but it has all these different um, uh, slices of uh, pattern for you to use. You can definitely cut these apart, but you could also just cut a card front. You know, you can get uh, four card fronts per sheet. The back of this one has this nice grid pattern in blue. So there's two of those. Then I love this one. This one just says cookie bake and yum, and it has little chocolate chip cookies of different sizes. So I love that one. That's my favorite. And I like the back of this one too. So it's kind of a, a random polka dot um, or random chocolate chips almost, if you will. But um, that one's really cute. Then we have this one with um, the chocolate chips and cookies. So that one's really cute. And you can see, I hope that the paper itself has that beautiful um, kind of woven texture to it, but it's smooth paper. So, um, and then the back side of this one has the brown grid. And then um, there's this one here, which is a kind of a, a multicolored grid. And then on the other side, it's a red polka. So really nice papers to use to make um, cards using that beautiful cookie stamp, as well as the cookie jar stamp. So that was the paper pack that kind of went with that, and it's called Cookie Surprise. And again, you're getting eight sheets, double-sided, for $12. Um, and that's up to you uh, whether you decide to purchase these when you order the Recipe Stamp Club kits. It gives you an option whether you want to just purchase the recipe stamp set, which is four by six, the recipe stamp set and the add-on, or the recipe stamp set, the add-on stamp set, and the papers. So when you sign up at the recipestampclub.com, you can decide what you want to purchase, um, you know. And uh, then the last one is called the Fruit Salad Paper Pack. And uh, again, it's eight double-sided sheets, which you can cut into four card fronts. And uh, it averages out to being about 266 uh, per card front or per card. Um, that you would be able to create. Um, but this is so pretty. This is the fruit salad paper. I love this strawberry paper with the little polka dots. And then it has these beautiful rainbow stripes on the back. Um, so that's the first sheet. Then there's this one that has all of the fruit salad um, fruits on it. It's got the banana, the orange, the blueberry, the apple, the strawberry, and then little polka dots in between. And then on the back of it, it's this beautiful kind of zigzag print. Um, so that's kind of fun. Then we have this one, which is a yellow um, check pattern or gingham pattern. And on the other side, you have these sweet bananas with that same sort of rainbow colored dots in between. So that one's really fun. And, uh, and then you have this one, which is kind of the cut apart one where you could cut strips of it to use on a card, or you can definitely make card fronts with it and uh, have all the different patterns. So it has strawberries at the top, then the stripe, it comes down to some blueberries, some peaches, um, the cherries here, the bananas, the oranges, and then the strawberries again. So, and then on the back of this one is a really pretty bright pink stripe, and that is the end of that paper pack. So really beautiful papers from Adornit and Diana Markham. Um, and these are all, again, available in there um, at the Adornit website, adornit.com, but also if you sign up for the Recipe Stamp Club. 
So the recipestampclub.com, I believe, is the website. I will link things down below um, in the comment area of this video. And then remember that all six stamp sets, these new 4x6 stamp sets, are available as a package deal. I think it's $89 on the website. They're also available a la carte, which means individually. Um, and I believe the price point is $15 on most of the sets. And I think one of them is slightly higher because it has more, it's a bigger set with more stamps or something, I believe. I can't remember now off the top of my head. But um, anyway, I will link the Adornit website so you can go take a look at everything yourself and uh, decide if you are, um, you know, what it is that you want to do as far as how you want to purchase. But don't forget that you can sign up for the Recipe Stamp Club um, and you can see the original video at the kickoff. It's still over on their video tab. Um, you can look for that and find it. And uh, you can still sign up for the Recipe Stamp Club and you'll start, based on when you sign up, you'll start with that month's kit. Okay, and I, I believe um, we don't have the July stamps yet. It's July 1st today. We still don't have anything for July as the design team members. So um, I think it's I think it's a honey bun this month. I'm not sure. I'd, I was trying to watch the video and write down the 12 stamps. I know Marilyn G did it, so she'll she'll know for sure. I think it's the honey bun stamp. I'm, I don't have my list with me. I should have brought it downstairs. Um, but where, whenever you sign up, you'll be signing up in July. So you'll start with that particular month's stamp set. If you do the recipe stamp club, if you want to order these a la carte, they're available and in the store right now, you just order them and they'll be shipping to you as soon as they have the physical product available to ship. And I know that they're supposed to get it any day now. So, um, anyway, uh, I hope you guys will take a look at these. I'm enjoying uh, seeing all the wonderful projects that all of the ambassadors are sharing as well as what they share over at the Adornit Facebook page and on their videos that they share. Um, they do a wonderful job of uh, showing all the products and everything. So I hope um, that you guys are all enjoying uh, seeing all of our projects, all of the ambassadors' projects. Um, and just a reminder that uh, Marilyn started a recipe stamp um, a recipe book, Diana Markham recipe book hashtag. It's hashtag Diana Markham recipe book. Um, and you can create a recipe book using these beautiful recipe stamps and uh, kind of play along with that hashtag and see what everybody else is doing. I am still trying to come together with how I'm going to do my recipe book. I'm hoping I'm going to have some time to start working on it this week. Um, I've just been uh, really busy with family stuff the last few weeks. So two of my sisters moved, just a lot going on. Um, and you know how that is. It's also summertime, so we have to enjoy our summers. So take time away from crafting and go out and get some sunshine, enjoy your gardens, enjoy the flowers blooming and all of our beautiful edibles that are growing. I'm picking blueberries in my garden tomorrow morning. I have a ton that need to be picked because I've been away for a few days. So I'm excited to go out and uh, eat some fresh blueberries for breakfast tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching this video tonight. And uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing these beautiful papers as well as the beautiful new four by six stamp sets from Adorn It, okay? And from Diana Markham's beautiful artistry. Um, we're so happy. I'm so happy that Diana is sharing her art in stamp form once again. Um, so thanks for watching this, and I will be back with a video for Saturday Morning Makes um, sharing a couple projects using these stamps. I didn't have the papers yet when I made the projects, um, so I just used the stamps. But I, I'm looking forward to being able to use some of the papers too. So i um, very excited to have received those in the mail while I was gone. So I'll see you guys um, with a Saturday Morning Makes video next. All right, bye.